Hi everyone. It's so good to see everyone. What is an ass minute? I have no idea. <laughs> I have no idea. Um, I am trying to fix something really quick and then we will be we will be in it to win it. I think I broke something. Kind of mad. I know how and right. How unusual. Awkward. Mm, okay, fuck it. Okay. I fixed it. Hi, guys. Um, we just finished our playthrough of Final Fantasy. Not f Final Fantasy. Fuck. Um, freaking, uh, Gris over on YouTube. So I figured, I mean, it's still early. I might as well, um, come over here and hang out for a little while. Maybe play some Final Fantasy. Finish all of Final Fantasy. Right, Kenji? Fuck. <laughs> I know. Crazy. I have so much to go still. It's crazy. What have you been up to, Kenji? I haven't seen you in a hot, like, like so long I know you've been busy. I've been seeing you've been playing Final Fantasy. I've been lurking. I'm gonna do a little lurky lurky on the edge. You know what I'm saying? I live here, fair. Fair. You don't get on Twitch much these days. I know, I uh, and it's okay. I I will never expect anyone to, you know. I see you and I appreciate you. I appreciate you. Stop. Ew. No. I don't want to, D. I don't want to. I don't want to. Okay. So I just finished our little playthrough over on YouTube. We just finished Gris. I didn't realize that I was so close to the end. Holy shit. I didn't realize that I was so close to the end. So that was only like a 25 minute video. Mm. It's kind of a waste of time. I feel really bad, but fuck, I was so tired last week. So I apologize that I didn't um, finish it that day, but it's up there. It's complete. Um, tomorrow we're going to be over there playing a new game. Whatsoever. We're gonna be we're on um we're in Diablos. Diablos. <gasps> Zircon already found me. Fuck he's such so he already knows. He already knows. He already knows where I am. Oh wait, hold on. I gotta do I gotta do all my Final Fantasy shit. Hold on two secs. I gotta do all my Final Fantasy stuff. In the shadows, I always watch it. Hell yeah. Nope. There we go. Oh shit. Um, usually when I, um, do Final Fantasy streams, all right, fuck it, I might as well, there we go. I just did, I just forgot to change my game. That's what I forgot. Um, I put a little book in front of me. <laughs> Obviously, it's my husband. Uh, I love him so much. All right, make me bigger. Big. I want to be Big. And I'm going to make my my husband book bigger. 
Okay. All right. Hi, Zergon. It's so good to see you. Get your brings out of my face. Obviously, customary. I have not played Final Fantasy 16 yet. I am I am waiting for it to come to a computer. I mean, I could technically play Final Fantasy 16 on my on the PlayStation 5 that we have. But um Kenji, what server are you on? What server are you wanting? Eh, eh, a, a geese. Thought you might. You're a. Ha <gasps> Ooh, I have to play now. <laughs> I'm sweating. Ooh, I need to play it. I need to play it. Need to play it. He's just. Mm. I need to play it. 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 I need to. I need to play it. Okay. To, okay. So since we finished, um, since we finished, uh, blah, 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 Gris, we're over here. We're gonna play some Final Fantasy. We're gonna do some story. I miss Final Fantasy so much. We're also gonna nya. So we're gonna nya. Let's go ten minutes. I'm nyang for 10 minutes. I need to play more of it. I haven't had the time or energy, nya. Don't you dare change the games right now, nya. I won't, nya. I promise, nya. Thank God. Okay. First, we must inform everyone of the situation, not Hana's colleagues included. I'll call them together for a gathering, but I don't think that it would be best. I think it would be best if you were the one to explain. Here we go. Oh my god, look at him. He's so beautiful. Mm. Oh, Nadana. Can can you answer me this? Though Nadana is trapped in the tower, she's still alive, yes. Then Then we must make warding scales as many as we can. The prototype works perfectly. This, Nadana proved at peril her to herself. So let's make more scales that she and all those who were taken might be saved. Aye, as alchemists, this is how we will help win the fight. Yeah, go us. Go alchemists. My friends, the satrap has been made aware of the tragedy. He offers his heartfelt condolences and, I don't know what that word is, his pledge to provide you with all that you require. To that end, he bade me give you this link pearl that he might personally discuss the production of the warding skills with you. And for our Aosian visitors, I bear an invitation. In her report, Mistress Nadana noted your vital contribute. Fuck, I can't say that word. To the talisman. This fact came to the satrap's attention, and in recognition of your deeds, he wishes to meet you. Contributions, that's the word. In addition to thanking you in person, he would also discuss further avenues of collaboration. And so, if it is agreeable, will you not accompany me to Raz at hand for an audience with his excellency? We should be honored. Of course, closer cooperation because our lands can only be can can only be to the benefit of all. Then it is settled. Please come with me to the east gates of Giants Gal Grounds and I will show you into the city. Dun 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 dun, dun. Yeah, I I thought I, I I took a really long break, Aya, to be honest. Um, well, I, I deal with complicated words all day. And so like my brain sometimes just shuts down. And so like, I forget the, I forget words. Um, I want to be, nope, I'm already a monk. I want to be, where's our fucking art? 
Um, I really thought, um, I, I knew I wasn't, um, I wasn't that far into Endwalker. Um, but remember I had, I restarted Endwalker so that I could like know the story and know all that shit and blah, blah, blah. So yeah. Wait, I gotta... Yeah, there we go. I need to get my buttons back. There we go. All right, I got him back. I got him back. I got him back. Kenji, have you been playing Final Fantasy 16? Has it, has everyone been playing Final Fantasy 16? Oh, okay. Actually, can we can we can we pause just for a second? Sorry, can we pause just for a second? Um, I have made some significant changes to the discord, um, that I would like everyone to be, to like know about before, um, we go any further because I know that a lot of people are more active on Twitch, more active on Twitter, more active on YouTube. So I kind of just want to like put the message out there into the ether of the internet. And while I'm doing saying that, I'm like pushing like my hands into like the ether like a weirdo. Anyway, because I know like you guys can't see me. So I'm like trying to like, you know, whoosh, you know? Okay. So this is our lovely Discord that I made for you guys. Okay. Oh my god, ew. Please, I will never say that ever again. Um, this is so the changes that I have made are um in the Coach Heck channel. Um, if you play Dia um if you play Final Fantasy 16, um, I have made a completely new channel for that. If you play Diablo, I made a completely new channel for that. Um, I have added a throne channel. I have added um, a community suggestions form as well. Um, I like this better personally than threads because you can just click on the post that you want to talk in and it's automatically organized, which you guys know that I'm an organized freak. So it's there if you have any suggestions about um, any emotes or like any discord suggestions, any community event suggestions, um, please pop it in there and the mods and I, we will look through it and see what is feasible and what isn't. Excuse me. Um, I have also, you hate the form channel. <gasps> no, I really like, for I was, I, what I was trying to do is because the threads go away so fast, um, it's actually a lot easier for me to categorize certain stuff because like I mod for like four people. You hate threads too? No, I don't do this to me. Ugh. Please don't do this to me. Okay, well, apparently we need to get rid of the form channels because I fucking hate them. Um, uh, text channels are just so, uh, I hate them so much. I love text channel. I like, no, I, I, I hate text channels. It depends on like what it's for. So like the living room, it was so jumbled and it was just whatever. And so I was like, okay, why not make a form channel? And it, we can po post like YouTube videos, clips, like Twitter vids, whatever. And so like it, it like keeps my brain because I click on it and then I get lost. <gasps> oh no. But I get lost. <laughs> I lost my own server. It's bad. That's why I created the form channels because I get lost. And so I'll like go back with layouts like this. Okay. Or would you prefer like a list version? See, see, see that's the thing is like, I don't know what you guys prefer. Okay. Hold on. We're going to change this really quick. Sorry. We're doing this on the fly. 
We're doing this on the fly because why fucking not? We're doing this on the fly. Why not? Okay. Is does is this hurry up? Is this easier like a list view rather than a gallery view? So a gallery view is Okay, well, fuck you. It's going to do this now for all the form channels. So this is a list view. So there's like two different views. So I, so I could have done the one before or I could do a list view where it just lists the whatever and then you can just scroll. Um, I also made the living room a... I also... Okay, wait. I will wait. If it makes you feel better. I don't know the difference. Okay, so... So the so the difference is a text channel just looks like this. It's just a bunch of text. It's just a bunch of text. Like, but then if you wanted to create a thread um on something specific. So like I had YouTube streams, right? So but the thing is threads go away. And it, so like if you don't talk in them very like if you don't talk in them at all, threads go away. And I fucking hate that. So when you create a form channel, the like it is essentially a just a gigantic thread channel. Um, D, I will redo your nyas. Um, I just need to explain all this. So a form channel is just like a bigger version of like it's just like a whole bunch of threads essentially, but they're all visible at all times to everyone that has access to this channel. Um, because it was really, um, it's like the reason why I decided as a content person to do a form channel is because specifically in our gaming lounge, you guys were telling me about games and like all this shit. And I was like, I can't fucking find any of the games that you guys were talking about, blah, blah, blah. Right. And so I was like, fuck, I don't want to just DM them and be like, what fucking game are you talking about? <laughs> right. So I that, so that's why I made this forum channel so that one, it keeps me fucking organized because I'm a stupid idiot. And that way you guys can suggest games based on the genre and y'all can post too. You just got to put a tag on it. Um, so it helps me. You know what, Aya? You're right. I don't like this view anymore. I'm changing it. <laughs> I'm changing it right now. Get fucked. So it is now in a list view. So I don't know if this is the if this is like the preferred method that people like. Um, if it is, that's fine. I'll leave it. Whatever. <gasps> okay. Well, then I'll leave it. Okay, so what I'll do after this, I will, or fuck it, I'll just do it right now while I'm talking. So now every single like big channel that we talk in will be a list channel. So now any anybody that plays Final Fantasy 14, anybody that plays Final Fantasy 16, I have, or anybody that plays um, Diablo 4, I have created a, fuck off, I have created a channel for you. I'm literally doing this while we're fucking talking. This is awkward. Um, so I I made channels for big games that the peop that that people are playing right now. Um, so I will be getting rid of. So this is now the time to pay attention, everyone. Pay attention. Bing, 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 bing. I will be getting rid of the text channel for the living room. I will be. <laughs> That's not what I. <laughs> I will be getting rid of the text channel for the game lounge and the suggestion box. So these two are going. I don't know if anyone can see that. These two are going like goodbye, like see you later. Peace out, Girl Scout. And the Final Fantasy 14 channel is going bye bye as well. So if you guys listen, this okay, okay, this is the time also to pay attention. Bing, 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 pay attention, bing, bing, bing. If you guys want to put anything in the, from any of those text channels into the new form channels, please do so as soon as possible because I'm going to be deleting them at the end of the month. I'm going to be deleting them at the end of the month. So please, if you want to save anything, please move them over to the form channel. I would really appreciate it. And so that it stays forever. Yeah. 
that makes sense to anyone um also i have um just updated some stuff so in order to get those roles you need to react in the coat check channel like i said before final fantasy 16 diablo 4 and final fantasy 14 okay we all know this and then the rest of them y'all already know you guys are smart but i have decided to open up a new channel um that if people like to read or people like audiobooks um it's called the library um, and so you need, like I said, you need to react to a role in order to get it. Um, I know, but Zircon, the thing is that if it doesn't make sense to people who are in the discord, it's not going to fucking make sense. So like, I just want to make sure that it is easy to read for, for people because right now there's too much shit in my discord and I want to freak out. And so I'm trying to consolidate and get rid of shit that doesn't fucking matter. If that makes sense because it drives me nuts drives me nuts i literally look at my server and i'm like oh this is fucking messy it's disgusting so i'm trying to consolidate and fix and make it easy to navigate for people so that they don't come in and they're like oh my god a lot of channels Blah, my fucking brain's blowing up because i don't i personally don't like going into a, a discord server and i see like a hundred channels and i'm like fuck me i'm immediately leaving okay so hey look i'm famous yeah you are um, so that's the reason why I have a lot of react roles because I want you guys to tailor how you want your experience in the discord. Uh, because that matters to me. Um, so if you guys like to read books, like to, oh my God, I just hit you guys. I'm sorry. Sorry. Um, if you guys like to read books, like audio books or anything like that, you need to react to this little cute little library down here and then you get into this little section. Okay. 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 Um, I think that's it. Like I said, if you guys have any suggestions on games, put it in the game box. That's why I wanted to get rid of the gaming lounge and the suggestion box, put it in one fucking thing and wham, bam, thank you, ma'am form channel. Okay. Um, anything else? that you have suggestions on like server wise put it in here in the community suggestion you have a video of me oh my god please don't he's so hot okay i'm done talking about the discord because i know some people like discords some people don't like discords uh and if you want to join the discord you're more than welcome to i'm not going to force it down your throat but those are the changes. Um, like I said, those those tech channels are going to be deleted at the end of the month. Uh, so please move anything over that you want to save to those form channels. Okay, now I'm done talking. All right, now we're going to play Final Fantasy. Holy shit. Kenji? Oh my god. Of course I want you to send it to me. Duh. Hello. Oh my god, Marvel, thank you. For that, for that, uh, for that moist and redeem also hi marvel it's lovely to see you Moist. <gasps> Kenji's a bunny boy? <laughs> You're so cute. You would be a fucking bunny boy. Ugh. To Barney's play? What the fuck is that? Oh 
read his search info. What does that mean? What search info? <gasps> I'm too scared. What does that mean? I'm literally like holding my water bottle like. I'm holding my water bottle like there's something gonna fucking happen. I don't know what that means. The bubbles on the top. Why am I so dumb? It's just, oh, fuck, I'm dumb. Top left. Am I stupid? Zircon, why are you a fucking creeper? What do you mean top left? There's nothing in your top left. Click examine first, okay. Oh, got it. Corpse dancer, I love that. I fucking love that. See, I don't see. I've never watched How I Met Your Mother. Uh, I lied. I watched snippets. So we go back out of town for a couple days. Ooh. <gasps> oh, I love macaroni and cheese. Don't eat me. With your mini midsomger. Blue haired. Hello. Mm, what do you mean? I need to get back to work. Oh, have I really been out that long? I really should go. I, but I was hoping to get a better look at the stage le before I left. I'm sure you're busy, but could you assist me for a moment? Ugh. Ugh. I only have to save the world. See, this is what I don't understand. This is what I don't understand. Oh, it really bothers me. Is, uh, like, I'm literally trying to save the world. I'm literally trying to save Nidhana. And also, you ask me if you want, if like, for me to fucking help you. I'm trying to save the world. I'm trying to save Aorzea and you're asking me to fucking help you. Ah! Fucking makes me so mad. Ugh, sorry. Little meltdown. Um, so you make sure the stage is in order. Sure. Oh, fuck. <laughs> you know what? I didn't know that. I just went to a spot on the map. <laughs> I'm going to be honest. <laughs> I can... I was just running. <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> I'm so fucking dumb. I'm so dumb sometimes. Oh, God. It's fine. It's fine. We look cool while, while, while we were doing it anyway. I freaking love macaroni and cheese. Obviously craft. Any problems? The floor and the paint. I'll have to fix them the next time I come by. Thank you for checking. You're welcome. You know, it seems odd that I've never met you until now. Wouldn't happen to be the adventurous sent by the students of Balciadon, wouldn't you? You are? And here I was delegating you menial tasks. If I had known, I... I've always admired travelers like you. You see, I was studying to be a dancer under Mistress Nashimira. At one time, I wanted to see the realm as I traveled for performances, and maybe I still can. Not as a dancer, of course, but as an alchemist. But oh, we should hurry back to the great work. I don't want to cause any more trouble than I already have. What are you doing, Kedji? 
Hydra Collins, so good to see you. What do I feel? Do I feel forward and back or do I feel nightmare? All right, we're gonna do forward and back. Yeah. Can I just jump off? Fuck. Forward and back and then forward and back and then go forward and back and then one foot forward. Continental mac and cheese is pretty damn good. Bro, Kraft mac and cheese? Pretty good. I When I went to go visit my dad, I bought some. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember now. I remember now. Go forward and back for the one foot forward. Da, 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 da. Yeah. Ah. Oh. Mm. Ah. You guys ready for this banger? Ready, ready for this banger? You know when you like hold your headphones, it's so good. Mm, mm. Forward and back, and then forward and back, and then go forward and back from the one foot forward. Mm, mm. Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Oh shit, bitch trying to fuck me up. Get out of here, I'm trying to jam. So it makes me mad that that mount has the audacity to play Alexander music and be a cash. I know. Bro, I love this mount so much. For peanut story of my life. Oh, I'm sorry, Aya. I wish I could work for you, um, but I also work my ass off and I don't have the energy to work your job and my job at the same time. I know this was, I think this is the only mount that I actually spent money on. I legit refuse to like buy any other mount because I love this one so much. Hello? <laughs> Have you seen it? <laughs> yes. It's so fucking dope. Of course I can't like. Of course I can't fly here. It's fucking stupid. <gasps> Drink calls here. Hydrocall. Hello, I responded. Hi, big bro. How you doing? You look cute. You look cute. In your cute little sweater. You're very. You're um. You are dressed for the weather. I was tempted, and it's a two seater. I fucking love this mount. By the whale, cause black and red. Yeah, fair. It's so massive. What mount you have? Oh Lord, okay, excuse me. I'm gonna need you to put Alexander away. All present, then let us proceed. Owing to the threat of the power, the city is currently in a state of high alert and strict restrictions are in place for entry. Though you have been granted special permission, I ask that you remain close to me at all times. A vast rock squats upon Thavnir, and to its stony surface clings the city of Rods at Han. Ye who enter here are subject to the scrutiny of gods, the gate's most watchful eye. The orb which beholdeth the truth of all things. Pass beneath its hot and piercing gaze, bearing down like a second midday sun.
The fragrant haze, a mixture of sweet incense and acrid smoke. The cries of merchants mingled here with lively melodies accented by dancers' feet. Travelers seduced by vivid sound and colors were once swallowed up by patchwork streets. But no such scenes to savor now. To what somber present does that divine eye bear witness? Here we are, Megadota. It seems a shame to bring you here directly. Under normal circumstances, it would have been my pleasure to show you the sights. And it would have been our pleasure to see them. Alas, it seems our tour of the city will have to wait. I'm afraid so. Come, we should head inside. Your Excellency, may I present our honored visitors. Ah, splendid. Most splendid. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Ahawan, Satrap of Radzatan. Our alchemists tell me your assistance was invaluable in the creation of the Warding Scale. Such deeds ought to be recognized in person. Thus did I have Young Varshan convey you here forthwith. On behalf of my people, may I express to you our sincere gratitude. I assume you speak of Nedana. A regrettable incident indeed. Her colleagues insist that we honor her wishes and trust in the talisman, that it will be instrumental in saving Nedana and the others. I am eager to hear your opinion on the matter, so let us not stand on ceremony. Come, sit. I think not. This charade has gone on long enough. Show yourself. Forgive me, but were you expecting musicians, perhaps? There are no performers waiting in the wings at present, but arrangements could be made if you'd prefer. Nay, he hath the right of it. The time for artifice is past. Raise the curtain. As you wish. You travel as assistants to the students of Valdesia, but you are known to me. Even here have we heard of the science of the Seventh Dawn. I am Vritra, and for years uncounted had this isle served. Ritra, a 
the first brood, sibling to Hreisvelga and Nidhogg. Aye, mine elder brothers, of Midgard Sauron's spawn, I was last to hatch. Well, isn't this a surprise? We were told Rods at Harn had an alliance with a dragon. Not that a great worm sat in a Sartrap's own hall. A necessary subterfuge, as the true tale of our nation history illustrates most effectively. In the beginning, the rock upon which our city is built was home to Vitra, and Vitra alone. In time, the ancestors of the Matanga came to the island and established a foothold. But never did they dare disturb the worm's lair. Next to arrive with the Aura. Adopting the example of their Akasodra allies, they too treated Vitra with reverence and respect. And for many years, an understanding between our forefathers and the Great Worm endured. Until marauding heroes from the mainland came, threatening to shatter our peace and tranquility. When it seemed all would be drowned in blood, Vitra himself came forth and quelled the rising conflict. A peaceful accord was reached, and oaths sworn in Vitra's name. Thus begun the dragon's governance of the fledgling state, which was to grow into Rad's Athan. But if Vitra is still here, then your position as Sartrap is just... A charade, yes. And one which my family has performed faithfully for generations. Many envy the Great Worms their power. Were it known that I ruled here, then the fires of war would burn without end. I would not be the flame which consumeth my people. Those few who joined me in laying our country's foundations were, perforce, sworn to secrecy. Your eye, it was taken. Tis here, buried within the semblance of flesh. The body before thee is but a simulacrum, constructed by the finest artisans of Razathan. With mine eye nestled within, it doth serve as an inconspicuous vessel for my will. Ah, that would explain why I felt the presence of a dragon upon our first meeting. I am woven with words fashioned to deceive such arcane senses. Though twas short-lived, it seemeth thy fusion with my brother hath left thee much altered, Estinian Warmblood. From the very first, we sensed the nature of one another. Yet did neither one of us bear his fangs. That is all I need know of thee for now. With my secret thus revealed, I have for you a proposal. Not as a worm of the first brood, but as the ruler of Rad's. With all haste must we take in hand the finished talismans and breach this foul spire. Thence, should it lay within our power, dispel its wicked influence. Yet even with the assurance of the warding scales, the narrow confines of the tower doth limit the size of our force. And thus denied strength in numbers, thou must choose thy soldiers with care. 
Just so. Yet though our radiant host is formidable, I see a sure path before me. Thou and thy comrades have contended with a multitude of primal beings. Most recently, thou didst cast down the false gods in Padlethan and Kartanau. Tis upon that strength I would call. The Scions have proven themselves the most capable, and I ask that you serve as the tip of our spear. Talismans would, of course, be provided for each of thy companions. And should you agree to this undertaking, more will be provided to make use of as you see fit. There's no denying it's a dangerous proposition, but the rewards may far outweigh the risk. Just think of what we might accomplish if we could equip all our allies with warding scales. I worry, however, that even the four of us may be too few for what you have in mind. Might we regroup with our friends first to discuss the matter? Tis no trifling task that I have laid before you. Steal your hearts and hone your plans. Such time as you require shall be spent in crafting your protective charms. It seems a quick trip back to Charlian is in order. Whether your request be made as a great worm or the ruler of Rods at Han, I see no reason to refuse, nor will I. Oh my god, the way he like looked back. <laughs> oh. Dying. I'm dying. Um, why do I have no money? Fuck, why don't I have any money? It's actually a great question. Stops never. Never. Do you see my book? Look at my book. Do you see my book? See this? Never. <laughs> Never. That meeting took a rather unexpected turn, but we now have to have a clear objective ahead of us. Let us rejoin our comrades in Charlan and muster a suitable crew for our foray, for, for, foray into the Tower of Zot. Oh, and if you haven't already done so, be sure to attune to the Aether right here before departing. Unless, of course, you enjoy violent nausea. She feels a stirring in her loins. Duh. <gasps> Hippo! I love hippos. What? Why not? Well, fuck you. No! Let me through! <laughs> Oh! <laughs> I was not, not expecting that at all. Uh, what? Cute! <gasps> Panda! I love pandas. Cute! Did you forget to attune? It wouldn't let me. I literally went into the thing. I literally clicked the thing and then it put me in the fucking cutscene. Yeah, uh, yeah, that's yeah, that's what I thought. Stop puking on me. <sighs> Wait, am I even allowed to say that word on Twitch? Puke. 
Da -na -na -na. I don't want to be. I want to be. I want to be. I like the moves. Good moves. All right. Seriously, Kenji, you would you would fucking be a bunny boy. You have the attitude of being a bunny boy as well. Hey, yay, hey, yeah, fucking draft. Calm down. And the one at the port, the very best like no one ever wants. <laughs> um, I'm really lazy and I run everywhere because I don't want to waste a hundred gold just to teleport because I'm lazy. I think, I think, I think you gifted me the bear, Aya. At some point. I can't remember. I think you did. Ah, oh, the car. Excuse me, sir. I am trying. I am trying to turn in this quest. I don't need you. I need you to stay on your side of the road. Okay. 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 Listen, Kenji. I need you to stay on your side of the road. Okay. This isn't fair. The fact that you're on my side of the road, sir. Yep, see? Get off the road, man. <laughs> Get off the road. Uh, do you even have your freaking license? I might as well just turn this in. I'm not reading this. Da, 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 da. <sighs> do I want to be lazy? <gasps> oh, is that the unicorn from um, being a white mage? Oh, I fucking love unicorns. You get it? Did I really? Nope, wrong button. Mount. Ah, oh, I. It's on my other character. Oh great! Now fucking Kenji's gonna eat me with his shark. Swear to God. Swear to God, this guy, get off the road. Get your license. Get your freaking license. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Can't catch me, bitch. I'm the fucking gingerbread man. <laughs> Oh god. Yeah, but like I always end up taking um the boats as well cuz like I don't want to pay 500 gold to Wait, how do I get back to Charlotte? I don't want to teleport. I don't think it's this guy. No. Return is free. It's not. It's in uh, Ishgard. I 
I love Ishgarden. You know what? Fuck it, I guess. I'm doing something that I forgot. One thousand. <laughs> the biggest fucking bout of all time. Oh, my God. Wow, I love being a cheap ass. No, it's okay, Draco. I'm just being a cheap ass. I'm really, I really am just a cheap ass. I really am. Ugh, my favorite music. You know, I'm gonna be honest, I have no idea where all my money went. Wait, did I put it? Hold on. <laughs> no. Oh yeah, I put it in my retainer. That's what I did. I'm a cheap ass. Seriously though, the way Sydney like looked back when we were reading beating Mitcher. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> I really don't have that much though. Like I know so many people that have way more than than like two mil. Just as I was getting used to the balmy Thavnir, we're back to chilly Charlian. Take care not to catch your take care not to catch your death, eh? We need you for the battles to come. Now then, your investigation here remains. But when that's over, we can take stock of all of the, the developments and discoveries. Bam, 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 bam. Ooh, ooh, I love a good glam. I do love a good glam. Ooh. Helmet's a little weird but that's because you also have horns so i like it see my favorite thing about armor is having is, is like it's like this thing right here um and it's very obvious because i also have this as well um like it's i really like armor that does this that does this i think it's really really cool um, I don't know why I just really like that like this. I don't know what this is called like armor wise, but I love yeah, the crotch sash. I love a good crotch sash. Yep. Whatever that means. <laughs> That's what I'm going to call it. <laughs> That's what we're naming it now. Crotch sash. <laughs> There's no good helms. Yeah, there really isn't. I I really prefer um, masks. Um, like that's like the main reason. Um, even when I was dragging Goral, I really I much preferred a mask. <laughs> it's 
stop being horny on me. <laughs> that do our horns justice. That you know that that's also fair. Like there's nothing like. Like this one is, I mean, like it's cute, but it's like, mm, it's just meh. My Sage Glam is the same. But my Pally though, my Pally Glam is probably my fave right now. I mean, like there's nothing wrong with being horny on main like all the time, but it's just like, you gotta make sure your horns are in check, you know? You just gotta make sure. I love the glowy, glowy bits. And I love that I have a crown. I love a good crown. I love a good breastplate as well. I'm not sus. Just, you know. But this is my favorite, like, gum breaker at, like, Glam. I don't know. I love it so much. Yeah, you look cute, Dracol. Ooh. You have whooshes. Whoosh, whoosh. Oh, no. Here we go. Yeah, mine goes buzz buzz. You have whooshes, but mine goes buzz buzz. what that means but yeah that's 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 that yeah yeah fight me bitch <laughs> stream has changed from msq to glam no it hasn't no it hasn't because like i actually want to do msq today <laughs> I mean, as much as I love the glam sesh, I, I really get distracted with glam, so I really do. It's it's a fucking tragedy. Yeah, seriously? Yeah, like, if you don't know what a whoosh, what, like, a whoosh whoosh and a buzz buzz means, like, you're you're obviously not, not cool. <gasps> Ooh, is that a new pew pew? Ooh, I love this. Ooh, I love this. Ooh, nice pew pew. <gasps> Ooh, I like. Oh, I love your little necktie. Handkerchief. Is that what this is? Is that is that what this is? Is a handkerchief. Oh, I do love all of Damn, Dracol. Nice waist. Oof. Okay, sorry, you're married. Um, I am too. <clears throat> Cryo. My directions were easy to follow, I hope. In any case, you stand now before the doors of Numenon. Charlene's grandest collection of books and tomes. This building is actually one is actually only an entrance and one of many Oh my god. And one of many at that. For the archives of Numenon extend deep beneath the surface like the roots of a tree. The vast halls of Great Gobble Library pale in comparison to the Numenon's endless maze of subterranean chambers. Any citizen of Sar any citizen of Charlian is free to enter and per peruse its shelves. Well, most of the shelves. Only Archons are afforded access to certain restricted vaults. I've dispatched Ustola and Raha to investigate those. Meanwhile, Alize and Alphanode will help me continue my search through the stacks open to the general public. Your status presents more of a problem. As a non-citizen, you are only permitted to browse the first floor here at the entrance. Even so, there should only be a number of books which touch upon Charlene's history or form policy. Your task, will, your task will be to find and study the relevant publications. I promise you, a working knowledge of those subjects will only make it far easier to spot the sort of clues we're looking for. Let's be about it, shall we? I have told the others to meet us at the stone benches over there once they have found something promising. Found some promising tomes. Happy reading! A steampunk set, yeah. Yo, that's fucking dope! Uh. You look like an Eva from Evangelion. You look so cool, Dracol. What the fuck? I like. Damn, that. 
I didn't mean for it to sound like that. Okay, I'm just gonna... Okay, we're just gonna go in here. Oh my god, look, a library. Ooh, bright, fully colored books. Yes. A long, long ago, on an island in the Northern Sea, there... Nope. Nope, I'm not reading this. Oh, wait. That's actually one that I needed. Hilarious. False monarchy set, right? Yeah, the steampunk one is really, really nice. Red covered book. Do I have to read all of this? I don't want to read this, you guys. This is actually something I don't want to read. You can't get it anymore? I need a level. Yeah, I need I need to Do I do I even have a dragoon? No, I don't. What's my ninja look like? Oh yeah. I look fucking dope. Yeah. Okay, listen, Dracon, this is not a test on whose blade is longer, because obviously my blade is longer. Where's my change position? This poor lady's like, I'm just trying to look for some books, bro, and you're just... Mm. <laughs> I really don't like the female pose. I, I like the male pose better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like the male pose more. Than the female pose. No, we're not we're not comparing to whose blade is longer, but we know that my blade is the longest. Obviously. Come on now. You know this. Oh, okay. Well, I'll I'll fucking fight you. Check my tweeter. My tweet. My twatter. My, see, look at this pickaxe. I'll, 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 I'll pickaxe. I'll pickaxe you. Yeah. This poor lady, she's just like, I'm just, I'm just trying to get some books, bro. I'm just trying to, I'm just trying to get some books. <laughs> oh, this fucking lady is so sad. This poor lady, she's like, Fuck, uh, sorry, I didn't mean to, you know, intrude. I need a better helm for my. <gasps> Ooh, KJ, I like your pew pew. Your pew pew's cute. Wow, 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 ick. <gasps> you look like a miner. I love that. No, M I N E R, not M. I N O R. Hi, Nether. It's so good to see you. Good morning. Dracol, listen, we're not here to. Okay. Put it away. Put it away. Put it away. Okay. You're working from home today? I love that can't be picky about these things <laughs> yeah see exactly i'm i obviously win duh i love working from home i do when i don't at the same time i love working from home because i can be comfy and i don't have to wear a scarf but then at the same time i have to put a scarf on if i have if i'm in have to like go to like a meeting or anything which is so fucking annoying Oh, I love this part. I love this part. I love this part. I love this part. I love this part of the music so much. Okay, sorry, I had a little jam sesh. I know, it's so... 
I know. I know, it's really sad. Uh, you guys, you guys remember I did go through, oh, the six umbral calamity. Um, you guys remember I did, I did, I did go through Endwalker, but like, I wasn't in it. You know what I'm saying? Like I was in it, but I wasn't like diving deep. You know what I'm saying? <sighs> but God, just like hearing this makes me, oh my God. I like, I cannot hear, um, I cannot hear Shadowbringers music without crying. I can't do it. Makes me cry. Of course, everyone's like, why are you crying? And I'm like, you just, you just gotta know, man. Like, <laughs> it's one of those. You just gotta know. Oh my God, it just makes me so sad. Uh. Ugh. This game makes me fucking cry. Hate it. Okay, wait. Do I want this glam? I love my little thighs. I love my little, like my little. Oh my god! Look how freaking cute I am. I am not watching. No, because you know I'm gonna cry. Okay. Cutscene. Sorry, were you waiting long? I wanted to make sure I'd borrow at least a few promising volumes. Alpha Note and Kryle should be along shortly. I was delayed in similar fashion. As I could, as far as I could see, no titles in the Archon stacks mentioned the final days specifically, so we have no choice but to start with the, I don't know if that word is, relevant tomes, if they are even that. At present, the plan is to skim through as quicker, as quickly as we dare and share our discoveries as we make them. I've been nice to investigate, invite everyone to the estate, plenty of comfortable places to read, and ready to supply of hot tea. Oh, I was quite fond of reading outside. But it's not about the little pleasures, isn't it? You miss your home. It's been difficult. After our arrival, we managed to speak with one of our family servants and ask how things were. It seems our dear father was instructed the staff that even if Alphanor and I were to return to Charlien, we are not to be allowed access to the threshold. Harsh measure indeed. I hope that our efforts to understand his position and that of the form will perhaps lead to a reconciliation. We'll mend this rift one day. I'm certain of it. And what have you, Graha? Have you been to visit your family, or do they not live here in the city? Ah, well, the situation is also somewhat complicated. I was raised in Charlene, yes, but I was born rather far away. In the southern reaches of Ilsbrad, in fact, for generations my people have dwelt in Carvos, the coastal region opposite of Island of Thavnir. The Alligans found a city in that fertile land and by ship brought in the subjugated tribes of the Makoto as served as laborers. Of course, the massive earthquake of the fourth umbral calamity brought an end to the empire's reign. And when the fifth umbral calamity froze the seas solid, many of the tribes still living in the Corvos braved the journey back to Eorzea. My ancestors, however, chose to remain and that might prevent the remains of the elegant technology from being misused. Zincar was under Garlean rule. For the past 50 years, yes. Some semblance of our so local culture still remains, as is the case for most imperial providences, but Garlemald remained the region Locos Amenos. When I was a boy, a nearby town came under the jurisdiction of an illust Ill illustrious imperial family, the noble house of Darnus. House Darnus demonstrated a singular interest in Alligan civilization, and so my tribe was forced to consider a plan of action. For some time already, voices have already have been raised in favor of abandoning our ancient customs. After all, the Alligan Eye no longer passed to our eldest children as reliably as it once had. Fear of discovery eventually tipped the scales, and the decision was to was made to bury our ties to the knowledge and traditions of Alig. 
As the last child born with an elegant eye, I was given over to the custody of friends of the students of Baldassian, who had me registered as a Charlene citizen. I've never considered. Forgive me, it was an unkind question. Even Thancred was taken in by Ark and Louisois. Was he not? The stories of adopted waifs and rescued orphans are more common among Charlene's than you think. Yet, regardless of our origins, we are all provided with an equal opportunity to learn, and with sufficient per... per I don't know what that is. We are outsiders even earn the, the vaulted title of Archon. This is exactly why I love this, have love for this country, and why I wish to remain a nation of which its citizens can be proud. Here, here. Another good reason to get to the bottom of the form stubbornness, aside from the trifling matter of our impending doom. Excuse us while we try to make some headway in these books. More company should be arriving any minute now. Okay, I need to take a five minute break to um, rest my back and kind of stretch it out a little bit. Um, I'll be right back. Enjoy Charlene music. I don't understand how how this motherfucker wants me to bring a doll. Fuck it. Fuck it. Come on down. Come on. Come on, asshole. Let's fuck. Okay. I, JK, let's not. Can we can we can we try this again? Can we try this again? Okay, listen, 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 listen. Okay, listen. Alright, take take six hundred. Take six hundred. Can't wait to touch me, can you, Daragoy? Well, oh. if you want it that bad. No, 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 I don't, I don't, How can I don't. Would you like no, 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 let me out, me, let me don't out. Be shy. I'm quite a uh. That's Look at what you got. Why Let's get a new outfit, you no guys. We're a new man. We're changed, we're changed for the better. There is nothing here I want. Jones, we're here to contact you about your car's extended warranty. <gasps> oh, <laughs> <shit>. <laughs> Goodbye. Oh, hell no. Why? Why can be sneaky? No. <gasps> So do I go up? No, I go down 100%. This vastness is giving me- OH JESUS! Ugh! Get me. Nope, nope, nope. Why did the bird turn into a snake? Shut up, Ray. <laughs> Please don't laugh at me. <laughs> Listen, I am entranced by her by her, her 
by her amazing, by her amazement and her sass. Yeah. Okay, oh. I'm back. Sorry, you guys. Um, I also hey, wanted to get a consensus from you guys. No. Um, I just kind of want to know interest, I guess. I was thinking about, um, or I was considering on, um, doing, like, reading streams, if anyone is interested in that, um, or, like, interested in, like, hearing me read, like, a, like, pages out of a book, um, I think it'd be, I think, I think it'd be fun, um, I've always wanted to get back into reading, and, and so I, for some reason, have always found myself, um, reading to you guys, I guess, when I do these kind of games, um, and so I don't know how many people would actually enjoy it, um, and so I'm kind of, and so I'd like to get a consensus if anybody would be interested. Tan Tan Jin Chow Tan Jin Chali Tan Jin um, Nope, I, I'm never gonna be able to fucking say this word. <laughs> I know what tangent is, like, or like, yeah, like, I know what a tangent is, like, tangentiality? Tangentiality? But, like, it doesn't, like, flow right in my mouth, which is really odd. Um, so yeah, um, if you guys are down for like a reading stream, um, something comfy and cozy, I'm 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 good with doing it. Oh my god, I can't do it. <gasps> oh my god, Kenji, you're samurai glam? Mwah. It's beautiful. Ooh, you have the sword that I love so much. I love that sword. It's so good. Zang. Listen, I'm comparing, I'm comparing blades now. Um, yeah, I just wanted to get interest. Um, and if that's something that you guys are interested in, um, I'd definitely be able to, to, to bring it in. If that's what you guys are wanting. Look at Cryo, she's so cute. We return with our selections. Although I must say the pickings were quite slim indeed. Mistress Cryo has already flickered through every history book devoted to disasters and more than a few, which barely made mention of them. As such, we'll be looking into research papers on the umbral calamities, as well as articles written by prominent forum members. Perhaps their knowledge of the final days comes from an unexpected source. Speaking of which, I might ask you a few questions related to the final days. I'm the only one here who didn't witness the events of Emra at first hand, and I fear I may be overlooking critical details. My thanks. Now, where to begin? First things first, what kind of phenomena did the ancients encounter as the final days grew nigh? No, no one told me that this was going to be a test. Oh, no, I forgot, you guys. Okay, wait, wait, what was the question? What was the question? Um, what type of phenomena, something, something, something grew nigh? Oh, my God. Uh, first one. Is that wrong? Ah uh, yes, the unfolding catastrophe wrought havoc on all manner of life. The chaos extended to the ancients themselves, causing their powers of creation to spiral out of control. Fear and despair manifested in terrible, tangible fashion, 
theaters raining from the sky, fire erupting from the ground, indescribable abominations prowling the streets. That more or less aligns with my understanding. If the only arts of creation had survived until the present day, we might have had something substantial to analyze. To the best of our knowledge, however, those techniques were not preserved or passed on. Ustola surmises that the closest knowledge known magic is that of the summoning ritual promulg promulgated by the Asians, which were odd else of note which heralded the approach of the final days. Oh, fuck. I don't fucking know. Um. Uh. This one. We're just going to pick A throughout the entire test. I think he might be misremembering. As I recall, twas <laughs> does the more granular spread. The amorality oh, spoke of a caning sound that rose from the land itself just before a region was visited by catastrophe. We never did hear the sound ourselves, of course. Thus, we were into the, in the midst of madness. So the ground was crying out, you say? To be considered the harbinger, um, har harbinger of doom, it might have been quite distinctive and probably quite loud. I'll have to speak with one of our new mare oh my god, mammoths and ask after any book which make mention of such sound. Last but not least, would you describe how the ancients sought to quell this unprecedented calamity? What definitive action did they take? Wait. We summon Heidelin. I think they summon Zodiac? No. Fuck. I don't know. I can't remember. I think I remember. Yes! Okay, yes, with Elidibus serving as his heart. So many gave themselves in sacrifice to bring him into being. We do not know exactly how Zodiac brought salvation to the star. Only by his godlike will were the laws of nature set aright. Then, once the balance was readdressed, the ancients opted up a further sacrifice to heal the ravages of the final days. Lives s spouted anew, and it was these fledgling souls they intended to render unto Zodiac. A trade that would have allowed them to resurrect the shades of loved ones absorbed by the primal. Or might have had Venna and her followers not manifested their opposition in the form of Hydaelyn. Thank you, both of you, for the detailed review. I feel much more confident now in my understanding of events. With all that fleshy in mind, it does make me wonder what the telephory truly mean when they speak to, of bringing back the final days. We've seen what, they do, what they're doing with those towers of theirs. Is forcing people to summon primals of a kind of a catalyst? Are they attempting to mirror the conditions caused by the unstable creation magics? Or are they just simply using the final days as a figure of speech, a convenient metaphor for the scale of destruction they plan to unleash? Uh, but this is all pointless conjecture at this stage. Let us return to our attention to the forum, shall we? We should keep an eye out for your stola, but tis time we, sh we should begin studying those research papers. <sighs> I do love a good thigh window. Oh my god, look at Crow, she's so cute. I'm the last, am I? Well, my extended search of the Archon stacks produced one or two possibly useful books, but I wouldn't get your hopes up. If you recall, Uriange learned of the source's reflection from the Girnon or Oracles for its potential to cause panic and confusion. That tome was deemed something and sealed away in the great global library. Tis even less likely that knowledge of an unsundered world, not to mention the horrors of the final days, would be left sitting in the shelf for any curious scholar to find. It stands to reason that my colleagues, be they our concert counsel counselors, should perforce are largely ignorant of the subject. Yet when you confronted Master with knowledge of the telephory and their something, he scoffed at the suggestion in that they posed the threat. He seemed to admit that the form would know if the final days were truly upon us. 
which only supports the conclusion that where privileged wisdom is guiding the form's behavior, it is being kept secret from the rest of the nation. Good night, Aya. Sleep well. Mm. Not, not that I mean to excuse myself from reading duty, whether they contain mention of the final days or no. These books could yet, could yet hold something of value. You were thinking of leaving, were you? There's plenty of work for everyone. <laughs> Ishtola knows. You labor for what feels like an age as your Stolo researches. <laughs> oh, shit. Good night, night, Aya. Sleep well. Oh, dear. You look exhausted. But what about your studies? Were you able to find any books on the subjects I mentioned? Then the day was well spent. Should you wish to read them again, a mammoth the, at the reference desk will point you in the right direction. For, the, for a moment, though, I suggest you take a well-deserved rest. We might be occupied with our research for quite some time. Yeah. Ready for a tea break? I know I am. Honestly, my neck and shoulders are going to calcify, but I'll stretch my legs and walk around for a bit. You know the last stand down in the harbor, don't you? Come and meet me near the outside tables or treat you to their coffee. It's quite good. All right, now we're going for a coffee break. I love Charlie and music. I love it so much that I put it on in my spare time. So good. Ugh, music is so lovely. Nether, I hope you're having a good day so far. Morning? It's morning. It's morning there. I don't know why I'm even trying to play around. Good. Working from home days should be, I wouldn't say like restful, but they should feel not exhilarating. Exhilarating isn't the word. But they shouldn't feel so stressful. Does that make, if that makes any sense. They should feel relaxed. Kind of. As busy as ever, I see. How very Charlene that no gourmet cafe has sprung up to compete for customers. Actually, this crowd gives me an idea. Before we place an order, why don't we ask a few questions and gauge the mood of the city? I'm interested to hear what the average citizen has to say about the Telfori. We might even learn something new. Worth a try, don't you think? Alize is not coming. Okay, yeah, 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 whatever. I mean, I'm playing Final Fantasy, so in so um, of course my day is good. Actually, I had a pretty good day, like at work. It like it was it was actually really nice. It was busy, but like not straining busy. Tomorrow is gonna be straining busy, so I'm trying to end today on a good note. <laughs> I finished Gris, which is one of my favorite games, and now we're playing Final Fantasy, which is another favorite game. So we're just favorite gaming all night. <laughs> what? What? What is it? Can a man not enjoy a moment of private respite? If you're looking to share a table, then I respectfully request that you look elsewhere. You misunderstand, sir. We're simply wondering if you knew the Telfori. These enemies of peace have promised to an end to all we hold dear and... Wait. You're that house livier girl, aren't you? And this woman with you is obviously a foreigner. Hm. I'd heard you were disowned for helping outsiders indulge their barbaric whims. And here you are, giving truth to the rumor. I'll thank you. I'll thank you to leave me be. I have not to say to the likes of you. Well, I must apologize. T'was foolish of me to expect an ounce of civility from one so enlightened. What a douchebag! Where's that? Where's my? Where's my? Where's my slappy? My fuck it! I'm gonna slap this bitch. Slap. Yeah, fuck this dude. What a douchebag! Ha! 
How rude. Yes, I don't believe we've had the pleasure. Um, excuse the interruption, but we're hoping you might share your thoughts on the Telfori and their unconsciousable plans. My goodness, if it isn't the young Miss Levier. My apologies, but I work in the office of the form, and if word reached Master Farsh... Farsh... I forgot how to say his name. Fuck. Arshanalt that I was helping you. I see. We're sorry to have bothered you. Oh my god, does no one have any balls around here? Jeez. Welcome, madam. What can I offer you today? Wait, is that Mistress Alize I see there? My word, how long has it been? Far too long. Me Dickin. The owner of the last stand. I used to frequent his cafe on occasion in between lessons at the stadium. That seems like ages ago now. I remember hearing that you and Master Alphanote has set sail for Eorzea, and then you never came back. Lately, there's been gossip about your father disowning the pair of you. Everything all right at home? No. It's complicated, and I hadn't expected complete strangers to be so familiar with our situation quite so quickly. Everyone has an opinion, it seems. Well, it is House Levier. No matter how discreet Master Varshanon is, may have been news of your family doings never stay secret for long. Things being what they are, what brings you back to the city now, of all times? If questions, and only Charlene's have the answers. Tell me, Master Dickon, have you heard anything about the apocalypse called the final days? What, like the end of the world? Nothing like that, I'm afraid. And what's that you're here to find? Information on this apocalypse? Yes, whatever we can learn. Unfortunately, your patrons to be a patrons appear to be unwilling to speak with me. I wish there was more that I could do to help. Hmm, maybe there is. You're visiting to Charlotte, aren't you? Then few will know your face. We should be able to pass you off as a server with none the wiser. We just finished preparing a few orders. Strike up some friendly conversation while you're settling down or you're setting down the food and you might just get the answers you're looking for. Not a bad idea. I hate to think I hate to ask, but what do you think? I'm so cute. Look at me. <laughs> That's the spirit. Pay attention now and I'll explain where each of these dishes need to go. The tea set is for the chatty group sitting by the water's edge. The omelet is for the one is one of our regulars, the Highlander, by the name of Gisa. She's sitting at the outside table with friends of hers. Behind them, you should see a Makoto gentleman. He ordered an oven-baked lobster. Got all that? Not sure? Just ask and I'll explain again. Good luck. Hi, Carm. Mwah. Oh, God. Um. Uh... Ooh. Oh wait. Um. Wait. I don't. I don't know if I have like an outfit for this. Oh yes, I do. I do. I do. I do. I do. Look. See. Perfect. Look at this. Yes. Yes. Oh shit! I forgot where the fucking things go. Ah. Uh, T set. The tell of who? I'm sorry, I never heard of them or their final days. My friends and I are somewhat uninformed when it comes to current events. Now, if you wanted to hear more about ritual arcane practices of the sixth astral era, common or esoteric, then I'd be happy to talk your era. I think omelet. Finally, two, four, six, eight. Let's dig in. No time to waste. Wait, the Telfori. Ah, yes, I remember seeing the name in the latest Gazette. That and some grand claim about the end of days. Some old senseless warmongering. I don't know why these fools grow tired of spilling each other's blood. 
Best to stay out of it, I say. The form made the right choice, and I fully support our decision to remain neutral. Okay, well, no one fucking asked your opinion, lady. Oh, my big lobster? At last, the Emma Baked Lobster is mine. You have no idea how long I've been scrimped and saved and suffered to afford this un this heavenly dish. Final days. This is the first I've heard of it. Although that would explain why my friend has has been brushed off his feet. It must be a busy time to be a gleaner. Hmm. You don't know what a gleaner is. They're collectors of a sort travel the world procuring things that we haven't got here in charlian priceless books unusual live specimens and so forth so named the f those four folks who travel who trail after the reapers and in, in their fields picking up every grain which was missed uh, by all accounts gleaning is most meticulous and demanding profession if these telfori make a good on their auda audacious threats then many un cataloged rarities could be lost forever why else would the gleaners be buzzing about in such a frenzy watch the harbor and you'll see what i mean they're carting loads in from docks all day it's never been this hectic before not like this suckers <laughs> it was me all along bun bun rocks is back yeah i'm still cute bun bun though I still miss being I still miss being a, a a dragon girl though. Haha! -ha, it was me this whole time. Suckers. <laughs> Any trouble with the customers? Were you able to get anyone talking? Interesting. They seem unaware of the final days, aside from whatever vague news the gaz the gazettes are printing. Even Dickon had nothing to offer, and he's the best source of gossip in the city. Hm. The form does have secret knowledge. They're done an impressive job of enduring no one whispers it in the wrong ear. In any case, thanks for paying, playing the part so well. Here, that cup of tea I promised. Let us enjoy our drinks somewhere else, shall we? Maybe behind the pa Paris... What? Away from the gossip and their wagging tongues. I do love a good tea. I actually have some cold tea right here. Very happy. Uh, wrong side. Had some sake. Ooh, yum. Yes, this will do nicely out of the wind and out of sight. When our father disowned us, I couldn't believe what I was hearing. It wasn't until much later that his words began to sink in, that I began to feel the weight of what it meant. Do you remember when the decision was made to come to Charlian? Grahal said that the Forum was determined to keep us in the dark, and that father's venomous performance was part of that strategy. To keep us at arm's length. Perhaps it was. Father argued with Grandfather on many occasions, but never with such dismissive contempt. And when he demanded what justifies the sacrifices we make in war, I honestly didn't know what to say. Neither did Alpha know, I know, but never for one moment did I believe we had made the wrong choice? So all I could do was fume silently. It was only afterwards that I realized how childish I had been. How being stubborn and self-righteous must run in the family. If I could have just mustered a civil response, then things might have turned out differently.
They must be ferrying goods to Labyrinthos. A vast complex beneath the island. Charlian is famous for archiving knowledge from around the world. Well, that knowledge is not preserved exclusively in dusty tomes and desiccated samples. Our living library, comprised of all manner of flora and fauna, is housed and studied within that underground facility. Still, that did seem to be an unusually large shipment. When I lived here, it was rare to even see such cargo transported by boat. Wait! Didn't you hear something in the last stand about the gleaners coming and going more than usual? Well, I think they're the ones we saw manning those boats. And gleaners answer to the forum. If the appearance of the Telophoroi prompted this sudden burst of activity, then Labyrinthos may hold a clue as to what the Forum is planning. To Labyrinthos. Tell the others what we learned about the gleaners. Go on ahead to Numenon. I'll join you in a moment. Master Dickon wants his cut back. to talk to to meet Vitra and we met his little his little dude um, but we didn't get inside of resident yet we just got escorted and then it fucking kicked us out <laughs> Just a little guy. <sighs> yep, little guy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I forgot how to say his name. Carm, there's so many. There's so many names for me to remember. It's re like it's like actually becoming a problem. Um. So I'm just trying to, Varshan. Yeah, thank you. I was gonna say like his um because they because um they just said that it was his uh like he was like I'm like a mere simulacrum so I was gonna call him a simulacrum or like a dual body um but like I forgot <gasps> hi Moika <gasps> good morning good morning Pretty much a dragon doll, yeah. 11 months? Oh my god, it's almost your birthday. What are we gonna do for your birthday? Good afternoon. Ooh. Cryo. Welcome back. Been a walk and clear, uh, and cleared your head, didn't you? Not exactly. We did some impromptu investigating and termed up information on the gleaners. Yada, 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 yada. Gleaners, 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 gleaners. It makes sense. So the gleaners take the request directly from the inquisitions and bureaucrats, but as you say, they ultimately answer to the form. A sudden and significant increase in gleaner traffic and in cargo. It certainly gives the impression of an overarching plan being put into motion. Let us see what theory we can build from the facts. 
As Ustola observed earlier, Nomenon's archives appear to contain no information concerning the final days. Coupled with what I said and Alizé learned at the last stand, we can be responsibly sure that the most Charlians know nothing of the particular period of ancient history. Yet, my father and his colleagues are not only familiar with the final days, but are also somehow certain that the destruction being prepared or perpetrated by the Telephori is wholly unlike these apocalyptic events. Moreover, the form claims to be so occupied by a duty of such pressing importance that they saw fit to unanimously deny Aorizia's or is, or is request for aid. Now that the Gleaners, official agents of the state, have been mobilized on an unpre unprecedented scale, I don't think it's a stretch to conclude that the Gleaners' recent activities are in service to the form's secretive ends. Which, in our case, our next course of action seems obvious. We visit Labyrinthos and access the situation for ourselves. And if we're lucky, the Gleaners will be far more receptive to our questions. <laughs> Anything would be better than burying my head in another dusty old book. Yep. I understand not everyone is the studious type. Consider this a welcome change of pace, then. As for myself, there are very, f there are a few more subjects I'd like to research. I may join you later, but feel free to leave me behind your borrowed books and be on your way. I'll see to you that each is returned to its proper place. That would be a great help. Thank you, Raha. Let's head downstairs and I'll show you where the entrance is. Karaoke night? <laughs> I'm glad you had a good time, Oinka. You want food? Leftover spaghetti? That does sound yummy. I do love spaghetti. Ordered McDonald's? Hell yeah. You're slightly drunk. Ooh. Ooh. Mawika's still slightly drunk. Then the carbs and fat is needed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ready? Labyrinthos is not too far from here. You may find the path a bit disorienting. I'll take the lead, so stay close. Alize is following you. Try not to fall behind. Alize sets off as a risk walk. Oh god, I hated escort quests in WoW. This is a. Tr oh god, I hate this. It's pleasant here amongst the trees. But we really should move along. Listen, Chica, I'm following your lead. You're walking, I'm walking. But you're taking too damn long. Now we run. Try to keep up. Oh, God. She's so tiny. <laughs> Um, well, we got, I hope you enjoy your new sub badge and I hope you enjoy the emotes. Hope you love them. Ah, uh, I also have a secret. We're getting new ones here soon. Yeah, I'm just gonna drop that like ka -chow right there. <gasps> Boom! New emotes soon. <clears throat> Everything's being finalized and they will be uploaded later. Oh shit. The Rostera. Not far now. Oh my god, I would love a I would love McDonald's right now. I want a quarter pounder so bad. Oh shit. Through this door and down the stairs. You don't, did you, you did remember to attune to the shard back there, didn't you? It'll make your life so much easier if you need to come back in a hurry. Otherwise, we should keep moving. Shit, I need to make sure to attune to the Rostera. I thought I did already. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, I did. Okay. Oh my god, I want a quarter pounder now. Thanks, Moika. The freaking worst. W O R S T. Worst. And some Frenchies. I want Frenchies. No pickle? Okay, I'll take your pickles. Ooh, we love a good crispy Frenchie. We're all here now. Yes, I've taken the liberty of securing permission for our group's descent. Right, everyone on lift and go down we go. Yeah, no limptic fries. Hell no. Deep beneath the scholar's city shines a false sun within a fabricated sky. In any age exist those who consider the floor an extension of their bookshelves. And this false architect surely belonged to that special breed. If the stack grows too high, start a new one. If no room remains, then make more rooms. A simple solution at first, and then bit by bit, a profound transformation. Knowledge buried beneath knowledge, a growing, creeping labyrinth from which there is no escape. you expected I must admit the artifice is very convincing but I assure you that we are beneath Charlian itself the breeze you feel the flowing waters you hear all created by the hand of man the island is volcanic you see and once upon a time this great hollow must have been a reservoir for magma it was discovered some 400 years ago at which point it was repurposed as a storage facility for scrolls and samples and such. Renovations have continued, with nigh on no interruption to this day, with the lower levels still undergoing expansion. Aren't those people gleaners? I, judging by their dress, they are said to work alone as a rule, but would seem that rule is being enthusiastically broken today. It may be as you suspected, that they are engaged in a task apart from the norm. Let's spread out and get some answers then. Did you call to me just now? No. How odd. I must be a bit dizzy from the descent. I'll be fine, I'm sure. Let's get to work, shall we? I love Kryle's little freaking legs. She's so cute. Um, who's even on right now? Jamal got off. Zircon's going that night. All right, one last story quest and then we will end today.
I hope you guys have been enjoying your time here. Um, sorry, I haven't really been like, I wouldn't say like engaging. Like I've just been like reading and I'm really sorry about that. Um, but when I want to like learn more about the story, I feel really bad that I, I feel like I, like I ignore chat. And it's not that I'm, like, trying to ignore you guys out of spite. It's just that, like, reading. <laughs> it's a lot of reading. <laughs> Obviously. You're here to help or give me more headaches? Because you don't have the look of a gleaner, and I'm in no mood for aisle chatter. One of my colleagues was so exhausted he took a tumble and crashed into the pile of crates. Now I have a pack of marmots running loose. Your exchange with Ironville has taught you about the exhausted gleaners. Yeah, what is your McDonald's order? Ooh. Seems like a very important, important question. You don't get McDonald's? Wait, you don't like McDonald's? Okay, so then what is your favorite, like, fast food place then? Isn't it Hungry Jack's? I feel like you said that you've gotten Hungry Jack's before. Yeah. Yeah. Burger King. He's a Burger King guy. Let me think. Let me think. The Rhea seeds should be item 1058. Cumin seeds 1059. Snarl berries 1060. Or were they 1061? Ugh, my head's like it's been stuffed with Makoto grass. Why more loads to take out than carry in? Why do all this at once and risk mixing it up? What if someone mistakes the Cor Corathian carrots for the Kira Albanian carrots? What then? Your exchange with thieves has taught you about the large shipments coming in and out of lamb throat. Le 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 Whopper meal, no tomatoes with caramel sundae. You would get a caramel sundae. Caramel? Caramel? Is it caramel? I, yeah, I think I say caramel. Want to know what I'm doing? Hauling books and ore and fauna. And if it needs hauling, I haul it. Every decade or so, they take stock in labyrinthos. You know, sort and tidy up the inventory. Never seen an operation like this before, though. They just did one a few summers ago, then. Or even... Then, with no warning at all, this mess gets dropped in our laps. Orders from on high demand. If I know the reason, it could be that they're changing the layout. Eh. Preparing for the next big expansion. Taking stock in Labyrinthos. All right, your call. Then, what is your what is your Hungry Jack's order? Mm -hmm. Any luck? What tales do the Gleaners have to tell? All of it. All the tales. So this grand operation began without a warning. And for every item they bring in, they're sending more inventory somewhere else. Hmm. That would explain the haggard faces I've been seeing. We were right. The form is definitely up to something. They're turning Labyrinthos upside down in the process. Oh, sorry. I was reading, I was reading, uh, I was reading the first one as what Karm gets. Sorry, my bad. That's, that's my bad. I'm so sorry. Ooh, I love a good Whopper. Have you tried their, uh, their chicken sandwiches? They're so good. Oh, if anybody doesn't know from the U.S., Hungry Jack's is the U.S. version equip or the Australian version equivalent of Burger King. Um, even though I say Burger King is better, but that's just, um, my preference. What do we, what? Oh my God. So many words. We would do well to learn more of what specifically the gleaners are being tasked to do as well as who has tasked them to do it. If you're game, I have an idea. 
Didn't one of the Gleaners of Question say something about escaped marmots? Perhaps if you're you were to help him capture said creatures, he might be inclined towards a more friendly and enlightening conversation. In the meantime, I will turn my charms upon the this gleaner here. We can compare notes afterwards. Happy hunting. Oh god. Sonic? I think I've only eaten at Sonic once. Yeah, I've only eaten at Sonic once. Okay, sorry, two seconds, you guys. My baby, my baby. My bad. Hold on, hold on. Okay. So, we can either raid out to someone playing Final Fantasy 16 or raid out to someone playing Assassin's Creed Odyssey or or sorry origins my bad or we raid someone new how about that what do you guys think what do you guys think about that huh what do you guys think about that or do you guys want somebody comfy should we raid someone comfy Supersonic bacon cheeseburger tots in a slush. Oh, I do love a good slush. I do love a good slush. Wow, there's not a lot of people playing Final Fantasy right now. <gasps> Holy shit. Uh, <sighs> that's fine. I think what we'll do, we're going to go raid someone that is currently playing Final Fantasy 16. Um, thank you guys so much for hanging out today, as well as those that came to the YouTube stream earlier. Um, like I said, apologies that it was only 25 minutes long. If I knew that, I would have just continued it last time. Uh, and then we would have been done in three episodes instead of four. I apologize. Um... Yeah, let's go raid Nadia. She's playing Final Fantasy 16 and I'd like to I'd like to check it out and see um and see what it looks like. Cuz actually I've been like avoiding everything like Final Fantasy 16. So um we're going to go raid Nadia. We're going to go say hi. She's really really lovely. Um everyone calls her Neds, <laughs> which is hilarious. Um she is a cat girl. Um but that's fine with me. Um, thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. Those who joined me in the YouTube stream today, thank you so much. Thanks for being here, Jacal. I really, I really appreciate it. Um, time, I will say it again, time is a very important commodity that you cannot get back. And I appreciate everyone that just comes and hangs out with me. Um, here's our raid message. Hello. 
Um, thank you guys so much. And um, I will not be seeing you. Wait, hold on two seconds. Let me make sure. Um, I will be seeing you guys tomorrow over on the YouTubes. Um, we're going to be playing our first ever episode of Signalis. And then um, this Friday slash Thursday, we will be doing a movie night in Discord. So make sure you're subscribed to the YouTube channel if you would like to. And you are also in the Discord if you'd like to come hang out on movie night. It's really chill. It's really comfy, really cozy. Um, all right. I'll see you guys later. Actually, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.